This is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginners. And in our OAS life, that we have um, a landscape challenge. And then Eva and I decided one of the major element on the um, landscape is trees. So um, this coming August, our virtual um, lesson is going to talk about the trees and all the uh, tip about how to do a good tree and what is required as far as the skill to do a good tree. And uh, so join us on August 25th, three o'clock Pacific time, if you can. And um, um, today I'm going to do a, a pine tree, which is one of the iconic subject in the Chinese landscape. And I'm going to do it on vintage pea paper, or you have, you have pea paper, jinghe paper, or ma paper, they all work. The reason I choose this paper is that after today, we finished the uh, pine tree, next week we'll add mountains, skies, and washes to finish as a landscape. So um, uh, color-wise, I'm only use Best bottle ink, two tones, straight, straight, intense dark ink, and then medium ink. And then brushes. If you have our older uh, selection, which is mountain horse and uh, large and mountain horse fine. And then our newest addition, um, mountain bamboo brush and pine needle brush. So I'm going to de demonstrate with these two new brushes, but if you have the other older brush and they work great too. So essence of doing a tree is uh, you need to be able to have a majority a dry brush. So if it's too wet, it's not going to work because when you look at a tree, they are uh, majority, they are very, uh, has a lot of texture. So I'm um, loading my mountain bamboo brush with medium ink. So I'm going to um, use the side of the t brush and to do um, To, to do a sketch on this um,
tree. So the top is longer than the bottom. So then um, this is the sketch of my tree. Then I'm going to do the pine needle. I'm going to start with the light ink with my pine needle brush. You can also use mountain horse fine, which I might do both this is pine needle and this is monohor. So I will show you both brushes that if you have them, you can use both. So the, um, the stroke is one long, one short, one long, One short and one long, one short, short, long, and then make into a fine sh fan shape. So, so this brush, this, this is. So as I'm doing this, it's always long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. So then I'm stacking them. Short, long, long, short, short, long, short, long, short, long. So this group, and then I'm going to do another group underneath here. Short, long, short, long, short, long, long, short, long, short, short, long. And I'm going to do here, short, long, short, Long, long, short, long, short, long, short. Okay. And then I'm going to do it here. Short, long, long, short, long, short, and long, short, 
long short long short long and then I'm on this side I'm a little bit lower it to my mountain horse fine. to use some darker ink doing some on the top. another dark one. Short, 
All right. So, um, maybe it went dark here on this side. Okay, so um, now we're going to do the texture of the body. So I'm going to start with the light ink, with a little dark ink on the, and So I'm going to use the dark ink. So how are you using the brush differently um, to paint textures versus painting lines? Um, the texture, I use the cider brush. Lines, I'm using a 90 degree to the paper. So simply, I'm just connecting That's back to the mountain horse fine for the pine needles. Yes. So when after I did the branch, I just find that my pine needle are too sparse. So I'm adding additional pine needle on the top to show the density of the tree. Okay, we'll see you next week. To add the mountains and then the sky.